Today, we're actually making a beat using a harp. Not a super cool and unique thing with harps. In my opinion, it's actually that they have a sound of a bell, but you can pretty much treat it like a guitar. So it's pretty much an instrument that can be widely used while still having a unique sound to it. So like I always say, let's put the headset on and let's go. So we're here in FL21 and I'm going to be using this happy harp from Sonoscoring Contact. It's literally one of the best harps you can use. The reason for this is actually because you can go to these presets right here. And if you pick this happy harmonics preset, yo, it goes crazy. So we're going to be using this preset for this beat. And I'm feeling like going for maybe something a bit darker. So we're going to turn the BPM down to about 125. The scale I'm going to be working in is C minor. So we're just going to start off with a C minor chord. Now you can hear the sound, it kind of reminds me of a bell. But like I said, we want to treat this as a guitar since it's a stringed instrument. So we definitely want to strum these notes out a little bit. Maybe invert this one and turn down the velocity. So I'm just copying this part over right here. But this root note, I'm actually going to pitch it down by seven semitones. Now we can just copy this over and we can maybe pitch this up by two semitones. See how this sounds. Let's just randomize the velocity real quick. So to give the harp melody a little bit of a touch, we're just going to copy this and pitch it up by two octaves. Then we're just going to adjust it slightly to the side so we have some more higher pitch notes. We can play around with third beat as well. And so the higher pitched notes, just give it a little bit of a touch. Now let's just add some effects to the harp. Starting off with some roam. And then we have this RC20, just using the Vinyl 2 preset. Just adding this guitar rig, it gives it a kind of a delay. I turned off these first effects though. We need some EQ on this though. So that's the main harp melody. Now to add a counter melody to this, I feel like we can maybe add some strings or a violin. Actually, we can use this Gypsy Romantic violin in contact. It's probably one of the most overused sounds ever, but it just sounds so good, especially for these dark type of beats. So when it comes to making dark counter melodies, you want to focus on these notes that are right next to each other. So like this one and this one, or this one and this one. So when they're used consecutively like this, it really gives it that tension and it's going to bring out the dark vibe you're looking for. This violin sounds so nice. Just some saturation on these strings as well. Now I love how the harp and the strings go together, but we want to give the sample some more atmosphere. So I feel like we can maybe add a pad or a vocal in the background, which is really going to enhance the whole sample. So some of you guys actually know this, but my favorite method of adding some more atmosphere is just actually to add a vocal in the background. So usually I go to arcade and I use distant voices. I pretty much just find a super ambient preset and then we can just tuck it in the background with some EQ later. So the vocal sounds very muddy with everything else, but we just need to add some EQ and some reverb, and I think it's going to fit nicely in the background. Just make it super ambient. And the EQ really tucks it back.
just add this to pan the vocal from left to right as well. You can really hear the difference right now. So the sample is actually turning out crazy. I feel like we just need to add some textures in the background. So I'm just going to go to my Imperial One Shot Kit. As you guys know, I have over 20 textures right here. So I'm just going to look through the textures and see if we can find a nice one. Let's just add a perk loop as well. So I don't want to overdo it with the sample because I definitely want to have some hard drums over this. So for the drum sounds, I'm obviously using my No Limit Drum Kit. By the way, thank you guys so much for the love on both the One Shot Kit and the Drum Kit. If you guys still haven't checked out the kits, make sure you go down to the link down below. I have my Drum Kit and my One Shot Kit. And I actually also have some free sample packs up there as well. So make sure you guys check it out if you haven't already. So standard clap pattern, a little bit right here. Let's go with a hard hi-hat. Let's add a cool snare pattern to this. I'm just playing around with the velocity a little bit. Just gonna give it some more bounce. Cool little reverse open hat right there. <laughs> yeah, slaps bro, slaps. Now for the 808, I'm using this gear one right here. It's my main 808, I'm just gonna boost it a little bit. Let's actually try to add a triplet over here somewhere. Now let's just go and add a kick to this as well. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the beat right there. Triple data weight right there. Has a cool vibe to it, you know? Go back in with the drums. Kind of fades down once the violin goes away. I think that's the beat, bro. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Like I said, if you haven't checked out my website, it's bbmarco.com. I've got every single kit on my website. Like I said, I even have royalty free sample packs you guys can use. So make sure you guys check it out. Besides that, if you have any video ideas or suggestions, just leave them down in the comments below. And besides that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.